the release of Korra was eclipsed by a lot of concerns from players. The Warframe was of no use to the community, from the poor hit registration, the damage type, companion system, in the combat effectiveness, Korra quickly became one of the most controversial Warframes Shadow and Oberon post rework. Players demanded changes on all abilities and even mentioned that this Warframe is useless since there are other frames in the game that can do what she does better. The use of this Warframe was relegated to the likes of BDSM and also Fashion Frame, and you can imagine what a developer must have been going through. We designed, redesigned, and coded a character only to be used for kinky stuff and maybe a little bit of Fashion Frame. And in all honesty, I have to say the character is designed with lots of assets. But with the recent changes, is Korra worth your time? Is she worth all the former that you will have to invest, the mods, or is she just another mastery fighter in your books? Now to make it easier, I decided to experiment on multiple builds and I must say the damage system has really improved because her whip seems to deal more damage because it is now slash based instead of impact. Venari is also more useful on the battlefield than it previously was and the command seems to work better than ever. Now DE maintained their decision to scale damage if you combine the abilities so you can just rely on casting one ability every single time. And with the new combo counter, you can kill some of the high level enemies in just few slashes. Now compared to other female frames, Korra remains impressive because of her base survival stats. If nothing else impresses you about this Warframe, then that high amount of armor should impress you in a lot of ways. However, this is where it all stops for Korra. The Warframe is impressive, but it is also very expensive to develop. It cost me 4 Firma and some Arcanes to hit that sweet spot that I was looking for. Without Arcanes, you can deal a lot of damage, but the scaling seems to be minute and unnoticeable. Therefore, it could be very costly for some of you guys out there. The Whip Claw is now more accurate than it was in the previous build, but still makes you wish it was in an exalted form because that would have been a whole lot better. Overall, she is a good Warframe, not a great one. It is a Warframe for a few people who will enjoy her kit and her playstyle, but if you don't like the frame, it still wouldn't hurt to farm her just as a mastery fodder. Let me know what you think about Korra in her new groove. Do you think she is better now? Is she a grab or will you pass on the Warframe even with all the changes? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more Warframe. And as always, it is DS signing now. I'll see you guys in the next one.